Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, my name is Emily Jean. Today we are throwing it back to old school YouTube videos. I'm actually really, really excited for this video. I've always wanted to film this and that is what is in my work bag. A work bag can be so many different things for so many different people. If you're a student, you know, your backpack, you know, just the daily bag that you carry with you to be able to work on the go or do things on the go. I feel like I've had a work bag the second I got out of high school and stopped using like a school backpack. College was very short for me, so then eventually it turned into my work bag. That's why I call it that. Um, just like a little explanation. The first bag I ever used is like my work bag is the classic large long champ bag. And that is one of the best bags I've ever had. I still have it and I use it every weekend when I'm visiting my boyfriend, you know, things like that. I use that as my work bag for a good two years. I'll link that down below or if you guys already have that at home, that's like a great thing to use as your work bag. I then started using more like cute fashionable bags, lots from Princess Polly, things like that. This year I discovered this backpack that I'm about to show you and it has changed my life. I don't like the regular like school looking backpack. So I stumbled across this brand. I've actually known about this brand for a while. It is by the brand Dang Dover. I don't really know how to pronounce their name. I think it's like a French name maybe. I apologize for that. This is not sponsored at all, but um, I just wanted to like shout out this backpack because I feel like it's very unique. What I love about this brand too is they make so many different bags in all the same colors and each bag comes in a variety of sizes. So you can actually get this backpack in a small, medium, or large. This is the medium size, which is kind of just like a regular. Um, so I will link this bag down below in their website. Definitely check them out. I want to get some other things from them for more travel traveling purposes, um, but I'm not traveling anytime soon, so that will have to hold, but like this brand as a whole has become a new favorite. Yeah, and also if you guys aren't subscribed to my channel, you should hit that subscribe button, and you can also follow me on Instagram at Emily Jean Beauty. Stay up to date. I have a podcast launching very, 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 very soon, as well as a new fall drop for my merch, so please be patient with me. It's coming. Just everything this year has been a lot harder to like get access to. I'm excited to dive into this. Um, if you guys wanna know what I keep in my work bag, then just keep watching. This is my bag. I Like I said, I already talked about it, showed it off. I actually didn't like go through this bag and clean it out and organize it perfectly before I filmed this video. I was gonna do that. Then I realized, you know what? I'm just gonna dive into it because I was using this all day today. Open it up, show you what's in it as it is, and maybe we'll find like some old parking tickets that I haven't paid or something in there but I thought I would just show like a more realistic version of what's in here even though I do tend to like clean it out and reorganize it every couple weeks when I feel like it's starting to get super unorganized let's shut up and stop talking and let's open the bag I'll start just with like the main compartment Obviously, the first thing I keep in my bag is my MacBook Pro. This is with me 24-7, and there's actually like a nice laptop sleeve in the back of this. It has a nice cushion and a little Velcro strap to like strap it in, which I love about it. So I have my MacBook here. I have a bunch of stickers on it, and I have this clear case from Amazon. I will link all the little things in this video down below for you guys as well to check them out. Also, side pro tip, I've had this MacBook for probably five years. It's an older 2015. 15 MacBook Pro. I was recently having some troubles with my Final Cut Pro, so I took it into the Apple Store and they actually put a whole new updated software on my computer for free. They just, you can drop your computer off. It literally took like 30 minutes to an hour to update it. I literally have like a brand new laptop now. I did have to back up all my old stuff because it does delete everything on your computer, but I feel like my MacBook has just been running so much faster. It's all updated and it's just like a little tip because you can't actually update it yourself. You have to take it in. And I feel like a lot of people might think that would have to be paid for or something, but it's actually not. So you can totally go into the Apple store and get that done. Um, that is the first thing in my bag. The next main thing in my bag is my planner. I always have a different planner. I honestly have never really finished a full planner because that's the kind of person I am. I get bored very fast, but I will say this is my favorite planner I've ever had. I used to have one just like this in high school. It is the Kate Spade Mega Planner. Supposedly they changed it a little bit and Kate Spade is kind of like a little different as a whole brand nowadays, but you can still find their Mega Planner. I actually got this one off Amazon. I I am so obsessed with this. The reason I love it is because I like to really 
lay things out and be able to have enough room to work and write on things. So in the front has a nice little pocket here, which I'll show you what I use this little pocket for. Comes with a bunch of cute stickers, which I honestly don't ever use. I always think I will, then I never do. Then there's a good chunk of like note space in the beginning, which is really important to me because I like to draft and kind of doodle and brainstorm and plan. I love to have that like embedded. I used to carry a spiral notebook and a planner with me everywhere, but I decided that was just so unnecessary. As long as my planner has a few empty pages for me to scribble and write on when I need to, I'm good with that. So I love how it has notes in the front. It also has notes in the back and it also has notes page before each month, um, which is really, really nice. So then in between each month, it has this like really pretty green page with a cute quote. And then you can put like save the date, birthdays, anniversaries, to do's on the front page. I don't really use this page all that often. Um, and then it has the full lay of a monthly calendar and then it also goes by weekly. So I normally mostly use the weekly ones to write all my little fine details and then I'll use the monthly page just to kind of block off important days or vacations. I have been really, really into this planner. This goes all the way to 2021 and I just love how large it is. With that, I actually also have this little pad that I got off Amazon. I was inspired by Maggie McDonald with this. She uses one that she got from Anthropology which I like always had in my cart and wanted to order um, but I ended up just finding a similar one on Amazon that I really liked. This is just a sheet pad for daily plans. It says today's focus, a to-do with check boxes, notes, meals, water intake, and then on this side it actually has a full schedule starting at 6 a.m. all the way to 9 p.m. and at the bottom it says good things that happened today that you can write there. So I like to write my days out sometime, my really busy days or stressful days or if I'm feeling overwhelmed. I like to use one of these pads to write out my day with the times of the day. It just helps me like put everything out on paper, especially with crazy busy days and with what I do. I need to have like a good visual for myself. So I really like these just like simple little to-do ones and then I'll always tear them off and that's what I put in that front pocket of my planner are just like old sheets and little schedules because I like to keep them so I just shove them in to that front pocket so this works perfect along with my planner okay the next thing in here are my blue light filtering glasses I have so many different pairs of these like spread throughout my whole life um, I have a pair in my purse I have a pair in my work bag I have some next to my bed because I'm constantly using these if I'm on a screen pretty much at any time I try and put these on I've been really really good about it lately. These are actually my Warby Parker ones. They're in my Felix Grey um, tin. I love both those brands so I'll link some of my favorites from both of those down below if you guys check out some blue light filtering glasses. But these are my Warby Parker clear glasses. I really really love these ones and they're nice sturdy. They were a good price point and I just love these. They help me a lot with editing on my computer and constantly just looking at my phone and screens and all of that. So I love these. These are always in my bag. Okay, the next thing that is literally just floating in the middle of my bag, this is one of those things that would be organized on a good day, but I was literally working all day and using this bag, so it is exactly how I used it today. But this is my external hard drive for my MacBook. It's actually the thing that I backed up my whole computer onto before I got my laptop updated. So then once I got my new laptop back, I was able to bring over any data from my backup to my new one, which is really, really nice. Like everyone needs this, especially if you're editing photos or video, it's always good to have this around. So this is from Amazon as well, I believe. These can get pretty pricey, but definitely worth it. So this is the little external hard drive and the cord. Just in here that's also very unorganized and very, very used is my MacBook charger. Normally I would have this nice and wrapped up and stored away in a pocket on a good day, but that is in there of course. I next have my Beats Solos. These are actually my boyfriend Kyle's. I originally used to use the original AirPods when they came out um, and I loved those. I used them all the time for editing, for everything. Once I got more piercings in my ear, especially the one inside, I think it's called your conch? I think so. Um, I couldn't wear ear pods anymore or AirPods anymore because I couldn't like fit it in my ear and they were very uncomfortable. So Kyle and I ended up just like switching because we both could get better use out of each other's stuff. So he actually uses my AirPods and like has those all the time now and I use his beats solo so these are great i love them i am wanting some new ones because you're kind of like busted and i've literally been using these for like two years now um but i do love these they work great especially for editing i actually do 
like these more than the AirPods because they do really close off the sound and able to hear what I'm doing better, especially when I'm out and about working, which is most of the time. If I'm in a loud coffee shop or somewhere busy with loud music, this kind of like just makes it that much better compared to an AirPod. So these are some Bluetooth ones. So I'm able to connect from my MacBook to my phone back and forth while I'm working and they're really great. Okay, the next thing in here is my little SD card case. I highly recommend getting these if you guys are a photographer or use SD cards often. Um, I just store all my cards in here. There's a bunch of different slots and you can put your micro SDs in the front and then you can actually put like a bigger one over top of that. So there's plenty of storage in here. I'm so happy that I got one of these. I didn't even know they made these for the longest time and I just had SD cards everywhere, constantly losing footage and that's expensive too. So so I am happy that I got this. It's from Amazon and it helps me just keep track of all my cards nice and stored and safe in here. Next thing is a micro USB that charges the Beats headphones. I also have like other really random little electronics that many things take a micro USB. So I tend to have like very common cords with me at all times. The next thing I have is actually my camera charger. Um, this isn't always in there, but if I am vlogging or bringing my camera along with me that day, I do keep this in there and I actually now have a backup charger. So I'll probably just keep this in my bag from now on. Like I said, I just like to have all my basic necessity chargers or cords with me because that's always like a really bad thing if something's dead and you have no way to charge it. At the very bottom of my bag I just found the little charger topper. I actually have the cord in my car so I always keep this in my bag in case I need an iPhone charger. I take the one from my car and use this charger head an old schedule piece of paper that I didn't put in my planner. The next thing in here is my Feels CBD oil. This is actually completely empty and I need to get a new one. I love this stuff. If you guys are looking to get into CBD, um, definitely research it before you get into it. I'm not gonna like talk about it, but I do really love using CBD and if you are looking into it, definitely check out Feels. It's one of the highest quality CBD oils that I've ever found. It's pricey, but so worth it. Like a couple drops for work mode if I was feeling stressed or overwhelmed. I like to keep this with me, but I literally need a refill so, so bad. The next thing in here is actually a little pouch that came with the backpack, which I think is super cute. It also has like a little kind of string that attaches it into the bottom of the bag in case it falls out. I just actually took the little thing off because I use this all the time. In here, I keep all my paper made colorful pens. Um, I like to use these for my calendar and for writing notes and just for little things like that. I've always been someone to like colorful pens and some people may think this is so excessive but I think it's fun and it makes me enjoy what I'm doing so that they fit perfectly in this pouch. So this literally has all my paper mates in it and this is with me. 24-7. The next thing in here, you can't even see it on my white walls. The next thing in here is this wide tooth white comb. Um, I recently picked this up ever since I got my longer extensions put in just because my hair gets tangled super fast. So I like to keep this with me just to kind of comb out my hair if needed. So in this backpack, not only is there the laptop pouch, which I was talking about earlier with the flap, there's also two little pouches on the inside. And then there's also two zipper pockets on this front flap. Two little side pockets. I like to keep things like my credit card or license if I'm not bringing in my purse. In one of the pockets, I keep my other little utensils that don't fit in that little bag with all my paper made. And on the side, I keep two highlighters, um, my favorite kind of mechanical pencil, two three black pens. Um, these kind of just float around, but these are just other utensils that I really like to use. I always want to have a mechanical pencil, highlighter, and pen, but these just don't really fit in that little pouch, so I just keep these separate on the side pocket, so they're a little bit more easy accessible. So for example, on the other side pocket, I just had a bunch of business cards that I keep with me, and then I also had this ginger drink mix. I actually love these. They're from Trader Joe's, and it's just a powdered ginger that you can mix into hot or cold water, and I really, really love these. I drink them a lot late at night if I'm having like an upset stomach or something. I actually threw this in my bag one day just to kind of have with me if I ever wanted to order a hot water out and add this in. It's a nice little like drink, healthy drink on the go. There's also these two zippers on each side. I usually keep like my camera charger, the SD card case, and things like that in here. And then on this side, I actually keep most of my cords. So when the cords are actually organized and put away nicely, that kind of stuff belongs in these two pockets. Right now in here, I actually have two cords for my podcast microphones because I had to bring them over to Kyle's house 
when we filmed an episode together. I had these in there. These normally aren't in there because I obviously have my podcast stuff here most of the time. But now that I'm gonna be recording more, I'm probably gonna have to get a separate bag or something to put all my podcast equipment in it because it's a lot. And with me and a guest, it's double of everything. But normally they wouldn't be in there. But that is like kind of the area where I like to keep the cords and a little electronic things to keep stuff off the bottom of my bag. So then it also has these two sides. Um, the sides are a little bit different because you can't really fit a full water bottle in them because they're nice and like tight to the side. Although this one has two straps like this, so you can put a water bottle in this strap, but technically it's not holding the bottom. It's not gonna go anywhere because these are so tight to the bag, so you can put a water bottle there. I normally never carry one with me. There's nothing in this pocket. I usually don't like to keep too many things in these side pockets day to day just in case it falls out. Um, I like to keep things in zipper pockets. Also has a secret compartment in the back here that you can reach around to put your hand in very well. Um, I don't really put anything in here, but it's good for like your keys and your phone if you're on the go to slide in here because you can easily reach it while you're wearing your backpack. The last pocket I have on this is the very front little pocket here. Um, I usually put anything that is in my purse in here too, kind of like lip gloss which I have in there now little like more personal needs I guess I would put in here so the lip gloss I throw my CBD oil in here any other little things I have that day I'll throw my phone in there when I'm walking from my car this is just like the easiest pocket to access for little things like that that is all that is in my work bag it is now empty but I absolutely love this bag and I'm really proud of my work bag I take it very personal and it is literally always with me you guys so I thought this video might be helpful to share just some things that I carry with me or specific electronic items um, I can also link just some other fun tech accessories I've recently purchased on Amazon just because a lot of the links will be going to Amazon anyways if you want to just have fun and shop down in the description. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know down below if you liked just this simple old school classic video. If you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button. Follow me on other socials. I have all the information down below always. And yeah, you guys are having a great day and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!